Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chanel and I wanted to quickly do a video about my goddess locks because I have been receiving the same question and I just thought it would be easier for me to just do a video on it and answer some of you guys' questions. So if you haven't already seen that video, I'm going to put a link to that video down in the informational box. Alright, so let's get started with the questions. How long did it take you? Honestly, I can say Girls, I don't know how long it really took me. Um, I do have kids, and when I'm doing my own hair, I take long breaks in between, you know, to do housework, cook, or just help the kids, or, you know, just doing something in general. So, I don't really keep track of how long it takes me to do my hair, especially in a long hairstyle like goddess locks. Um, but if I was to estimate, I would say maybe between five and six hours. It could have been a little bit longer, it could have been shorter. Like I said, I didn't keep track. How did I take the hair down? A couple different ways you can do it. As you know, I had crochet locks in the back. So what I did is I um, located my thread because I braided my hair all the way back and then I threaded the tail of it up. So I located that thread and I just cut it. Once I was able to um, cut it, I could take the, the, once I cut it, I was able to take the thread out and then un start unraveling the braid. Once I unravel the braid, the locks just slid right out. So that was pretty easy. I would say that that would take you less than 30 minutes to take down the back because once you undo the braid, then you're able to just slide the lock out. Another way you can do it is you'll have the loop of, you'll have the loop of your um, lock, right? That's the loop that is connected around the braid. You could locate that and snip it. So once you cut it, it will then slide right out. It's just that easy. So simple, I promise. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, the front of my the front of my um, hair, I had individual locks, right? What I did was I just cut the hair. You just cut off the ends of the lock, snip it just like that. So once you snip the ends. Basically, all you're going to do is pull the hair. It will start unraveling. You see that? This hair is now unraveling from the braiding hair. So this is the, that's the Marley hair. And then this is the braiding hair and the Marley hair. Basically, all you're going to do is just unravel it. You see how quickly that just comes down? Boom. We're done. And then... Once you take the Marley hair off of the braid in here, you can now um, undo your braid. Just take the braid, in, the braid down, pull the hair out. Bam, done, quick, easy, I'm telling you. It's so simple. Um, yeah, it's simple. It didn't take me a long time to take my hair down, maybe 45 minutes. How long did it last? I had mine up for a month. Now, could it have gone longer? Maybe. But I'm so bipolar when it comes to hairstyles, I don't like to keep the same hairstyle for very long. And especially with the locks. If you keep it in too long, your hair could potentially start to lock up as well. Now, I do know people keep their locks in for about three months or even longer. Um, but I wouldn't suggest to do that because like I said, your hair will start to mat up and it can become a lock itself. Around a month for me, the hair started to look a little bit more raggedy and it was time for me to either retwist my natural hair to make it more into a dread. Now this hairstyle is definitely the hairstyle that you want to keep up because it starts to look better and better after um, so long, you know, it's one of those things. So this is the lock that I cut, but I wanted to show you after a month, this is what I what it started to look like. And it doesn't look bad. I mean, you can see that it does look worn. It has that little frizzy look to it. But dreads have frizzy looks, so this is cool, I think. I mean, I personally don't mind it. The end started to look more matted, and I don't know. I just didn't like the way the end started to look. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I received some comments about pre-wrapping the lock um, for your crochet part. The only problem with that is, because trust me, trust me when I tell you, trust me, I definitely tried to pre-wrap my locks before doing the method that I ended up doing because I felt like it would have been, it would have been uh, a lot faster. So I tried to pre 
wrap it. The only thing was the lock became a little bit too big for my cornrows and I couldn't actually fit the, the lock under the corn, cornrow. And as you know, you want to keep the cornrow, you know, fairly secure. So you want to braid it a little bit tighter so your lock won't flip out. So that's what I did. I didn't do like a loose cornrow. Maybe if I would have did more of a looser cornrow, it probably would have worked, but I couldn't get the lock under without without like pulling the lock apart. Because the loop, I had, you know, of course you had to take the latch hook and put it through the loop. And once you start to pull through the loop, it starts to kind of pull and yank on the lock itself. So it started, it just didn't look right. It didn't work, basically. And um, the lock was somewhat flexible, but it did have more of a stiff because it was brand new. So um, since it was so brand new, it wasn't super flexible to get underneath the cornrow. After so long, of course, the lock starts to get more limber and you're able to move it around a lot more. Are the locks heavy? Hell yeah, the locks are heavy. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me clarify that. The locks are not heavy when they're down. They just feel like regular braids when they're just all the way down. When you have them up in a ponytail, because I love to put my hair up in a ponytail when I'm sleeping, of course, so I can wrap it, you know? So I put it up in like a pineapple, and then I put my scarf around it. Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> so my neck was hurting every night when I went to sleep because these damn things were so heavy. It was just like so much weight on the top of my head when I turned this way, it kind of made like a, I don't know, it was a tension on my neck and it was hurting. So if you're, you know, if you don't have no problem with heaviness or when you put, you know, regular braids up in a ponytail, you don't feel like they're too heavy, this, you'll be fine. But me, it was heavy. It was definitely heavy on my neck when I was putting it up in a full ponytail. However, when I did have it down, I didn't have any issues. But the ponytail is what actually became really heavy. Someone asked if, you had thick hair, should you do the same amount of spacing? I feel like you should do whatever you feel is necessary for your hair type. Everyone's hair type is so different, but I do feel like this can work for any hair texture, any um, thickness thin. I feel like you can use the same amount of spacing because basically, once you put your cornrows in, and they can be large or small, however you wanna do it, but once you put them in and you actually use the technique of crossing the front, you know, the front braids up front. If you've seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. If you use that, then the dreads would just basically fall over the party. So you won't see it. As far as the individual, it depends all on you. Whether you want the locks to be small, large, medium in the front is how much spacing you actually use. So it's just really depend on how you want your hair. I hope that answered your question, but that's basically what it is. Um, Cause like I said, everyone's hair type is so different. Uh, you know what works best for your hair. Well, I think that's everything, um, all the questions that I was getting most. But if you have any other questions, just feel free to put them in the comments. I have been doing pretty good lately at answering questions. So just put them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it for you. And if you're wondering the hair that I have in, I will put a link down below on this hair. It's absolutely gorgeous and natural looking. I love it. Till next time, I will talk to you guys later.